bentornati, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so, last episode I introduced you to the kitchen, I've been trying to renovate where I live in Tuscany. For those of you asking, no, it is not a rental, I moved into my boyfriend's house, hopefully the relationship works out because I'm putting a lot of work into it. Uh, I promised him that I would do all the work alone and pay for any expenses, so I'm working to quite a tight budget, but I'm excited because there's a lot you can do even though it's quite a, a small space. Um, this corner gets very little light, so the first job was to whitewash the cabinets and brighten up the grey tiles. As I said last episode, I wanted to buy beautiful hand-painted Sicilian tiles, but they cost too much, so I decided to do it myself. I painted two coats of primer, and then once the border was finished, I was undecided last episode about whether to fill in another pattern, but I decided to do it because I, I film so many recipe videos and I thought it might be nice for you guys to have some detail in the background to look at when I'm uh, blabbing on. <laughs> the next job was to find the tap or faucet. I looked everywhere for something rustic. Uh, the only ones I could find were garden taps, but they would require putting a hole into the wall, which would be too complicated and break my hand-painted tiles. I'm so happy that so many of you loved the interview with the guys from Brick and Stone who buy antique pieces of crumbling villas around Italy. Uh, so while I was there, I found this beautiful hundred year old marble sink, which is good because I think it's just the right uh, color that will tone in with the existing marble bench that is there in the kitchen. Being fellow lovers of all things handmade, I actually asked the guys at Brick and Stone if they knew anyone who did artisanal taps and they recommended Rubinetterie Fiorentine, which loosely translated means Florentine faucets. To my delight, I found they have been in Florence since 1860, and when I told them about my project, they said they could make me a custom brass faucet with hand-engraved hot and cold knobs. Meanwhile, I found my dream vintage-style fridge, oven, and gas cooker from a lovely Italian company called Bompani, based out of Modena. Emozionato! I'm so excited because um, this beautiful, beautiful fridge and oven and uh, piano cottura are arriving today. They're from this company that makes vintage retro style uh, elettrodomestici, so the uh, um, stuff you know for the for the kitchen and. Uh, I, I basically I, I discovered them because um, my boyfriend's family have uh, these these fridges, these Bompani fridges, and I was like, oh, they're so beautiful, and uh, and and they're actually not that expensive either. So anyway, the guy just called me. He's like, va bene lunedì, is it's okay if I come on Monday? And I'm like, no, no, come now. I'm just dying to bake a cake. Vivi cucina e compra italiano per tutta la vita. È bellissimo, no? Ti piace il colore? Sì, sì. He had been living like a bit of a bachelor with just a bar fridge and a tiny electric oven before I arrived. Once I was here cooking roasts and cakes and wanting to stock a freezer with emergency portions of ragu and homemade gelato like any self-respecting Italian signora, obviously there was the need for something a little bit bigger. <laughs> and I cannot wait to do homemade gelato recipe uh, with the new freezer. Now, there's a thing you might have noticed if you've ever stayed in an Italian home, and it's called a piattaia. This is an ingenious invention to slot plates in directly above the sink so you don't have to dry them, but they're not taking up space on the bench. Of course, the Italians would have uh, something which makes less work after a meal. I found one of these in an old barn on the property, along with a moscaiola, which comes from the word mosca for fly, so the hook is where they would hang a piece of meat safe from the flies but aerated and we have so little space for pantry goods so I decided to varnish this and add little shelves and it's now a, a lovely vintage little cabinet to keep dry goods in. I like to take things like sugar and flour out of packets because, well, what can I say, I'm 
highly sensitive to, to color and beauty. And rather than look at a bunch of brand names and gaudy colors, I like to make all my baking ingredients feel like part of the same family. So I put them in these super cheap but rustic jars I got in a little store for a dollar each. Um, it also keeps them airtight and neat. The carpenter, electrician and plumber were so lovely. Anytime I said anything, they responded, si può fare, si può fare, non c'è problema. It can be done, it can be done, no problem. Which was not always the case, but in the end they found a way. Ho fatto una torta al cioccolato per i muratori per offrirgli uno snack durante il giorno, però tutti e tre hanno rifiutato la mia offerta. Forse non volevano fare una pausa oppure stavano facendo i complimenti. Uh, dovrei offendermi? <ride> Another day, another tea towel on my head. <laughs> uh, so, a little bit of a challenge with the stencil because after the first 30 times that I used it, some paint has sort of started clogging up in the holes and so it's not really coming out as crisp as it was the first 30 times. So I, now I have to kind of wash it in between each use. But even then, it's still not, like the pattern is just very, very faint. And so then I have to go over with a paintbrush and sort of try and replicate what the pattern is. So it's just... Uh, it's, <laughs> I just, I, yeah, I, I hope it doesn't break before I get to the end because I think there must be 65 maybe I have to do in total. Uh, so, uh. <laughs> you see, it's just getting so thick, so there's no longer such a clean print. And even with this here, I worry about it breaking because I try to wash it off, but the paint just keeps clogging up and drying. And then if I tear if I wash it too um, intensely the it's, it's quite fragile so I risk breaking off the whole little curve there why okay so the idea is the social network what's well, the, what's the one idea so the, so the one idea is the girdle is incompleteness theorem right so if consciousness is all there is conscious agents are all there is yep then mathematical structure is only about consciousness and conscious agents because that's all there is
Amazon, Amazon delivery? Is it a tapeto? Is it a rug? Is it my chestino? Is it my bin? Which is it? Come si apre la porta? Vabbè, sono in chiusa a casa. Benvenuto, welcome to your new home. I hope you'll be very happy. And we have little anti scivolo rete underneath for if I'm carrying hot pots or dancing in cucina, che diciamo la verità succede sempre. Quindi, così sono più sicura. Okay, this feels like it's getting in my eyes, which is quite scary, but I'm trying to protect myself. Okay, so I wasn't totally happy with the spray, so I added another layer with a roller of this stuff here. And it's kind of got a nice little shine to it. You probably can't see through the camera, but I mean, this gloss has just given it such a lovely, lovely finish. Um, Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I was so worried I was going to like ruin them all and it's going to be <laughs> just a terrible result. But, invece no. Invece no. Le mattonelle sono finite. The tiles are finally finished. They're sealed. They're beautiful. They cover the whole wall and it looks amazing. I can't wait to show you. I like to add fabric to a kitchen because I think the softness makes it feel cozy and a lot of Italian farmhouse kitchens have a little curtain underneath an exposed sink. Uh, before with the old sink there used to be a cupboard under here but now it's just open and I don't want all the cleaning products on display. I bought this linen in Florence today and uh, I bought a wooden rod to hang it on. See what I want is these really little discrete stitches that then you don't see at all on the other side. So I'm doing it by hand, almost finished. I'm also going to make a curtain to hide the very modern dishwasher uh, because I film a lot of shots of the oven and I'd like something a little bit more rustic. Mm -hmm. I found this um, lovely box just um, when we bought some vegetables and uh, I thought it might be a good thing to put all the cleaning products in because then they're not just resting on the on the um, pavimento, on the floor. And uh, it means also that then I can put them behind here and instead of just peering around in the dark, I can sort of pull the whole thing out and have a look. So let's fill it up. And then this way, if there's a bit of um, this peeking out, it's quite nice because the timber with the with the linen. Ciao, buona notte, everybody. <laughs> I think I'm finished, finally. Uh, before I show you the end result, I want to say a big heartfelt thank you to my patrons. Uh, some of the people watching this donate either on a one-off um, donation or on a monthly basis, whatever they choose, whatever they think my videos are worth. And um, it's so meaningful because as you can see from this video or from any of the other uh, videos I've made on humanity, on understanding different cultures, on cooking. Uh, I, I, I like to put a lot of time and effort and thought into what I make. It's just, this is who I am. It's how I like to live. It's, I don't want to change myself too much for the platform because at the end of the day, I, I, I'm, I'm in it for the, for the, for the long haul. And I think that if you, if you're constantly trying to modify yourself for the system then you just burn out or you don't you forget why you <laughs> enjoy doing this in the first place and I I never forget that Be thanks to you thanks thanks to your support because you allow me to make content that isn't 
uh, the fastest way to grow a channel. It isn't uh, the most popular on YouTube, but it is something that is, 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 is real and is from my heart and I always think about what could be comforting or uplifting or inspiring for you and 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 that that takes time and, and you give me that time you give me uh, that that liberty so so thank you and um, I just yeah I'm almost almost at a hundred thousand subscribers now but I know I know so well that that I definitely would have shut this channel down a couple of years ago when I was really at a low point and, and it just felt so um, <laughs> difficult uh, to, to, to do all this alone and make the type of content that I, that I believe in. So yes, thank you, grazie. And now I'll show you the kitchen. <laughs> Thank you. 